Hello, this is John. Welcome to another episode of John's Kitchen. Last week, I had a menagerie of family and friends visiting, and as a result, I have quite a collection of restaurant leftovers. Here we have some cheese stuffed naan from an Indian restaurant. Over here we have some macaroni and cheese and beans mixed together from a rib place, as well as a piece of cornbread and a hush puppy. And of course kale. And over here we have a piece of stale bread. And as you can see, I have prepared some cheese. Now, since we are using leftovers from a restaurant, we are going to want to pay careful attention to the feng shui. You can see over here I have a bottle of some sort of pink girly stuff that my friend Tara appears to have abandoned in the bathroom, which I have arranged such that two sticks of incense are sticking out in a V pattern, and the whole thing has been attached with first aid tape. The first thing we are going to do as you can see, I put butter in a stainless steel pan. One entire dollop, to be exact, arranged such that four-fifths of a dollop is slightly off-center, and the remaining one-fifth of a dollop has been placed such that it has the shape of South America slightly off-center as well. We are going to turn the heat on to low and wait for the butter to melt. Now as you see the butter has melted, we are going to take the pan off the burner for a moment. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to take the macaroni and cheese mixed with the beans and we're going to place those into the pan. Now we're going to follow that with the kale. Finally, the hush puppy and cornbread, which we will crumble across the mixture. As you can see, the mixture is beginning to saute, and it this time, I would like to introduce the stale bread to the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and cover the pan with whatever is handy, which happens to be my spaghetti pan. While the mixture is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and pop the naan stuffed with cheese into the microwave. Set at one minute and 27 seconds.
Well, you can see it's been cooking for about a minute and a half. I turned it over once. Now I'm going to put some of this stuff that I found in the refrigerator, garlic sauce. We're going to go ahead and squirt some of that in there. While we are waiting for them to cook, we're going to address the feng shui by turning the handle of the pot exactly due east. And you remember the pink curly, girly stuff with the incense. We're going to place that approximately three inches north of the pan. And at this point in time, we're going to set the incense sticks on fire. Now, I will utter the incantation. I left my home to go to Rome to buy a comb in the dome, but a gnome wrote a poem whose words were ohm, ohm. Okay, you can see that the leftovers and garlic sauce are almost ready. And it's this time I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the cheese and cover once again. So let's check how it's doing. Well, there you have it, folks. The leftovers are ready. The naan is warm. Yum, yum. And there you have it, folks. Another five minute dinner brought to you by John's Kitchen. Go out and spend five minutes cooking. You'll be glad you did.